going on guys Achman here back with another video and yeah we're at it again uh, i was really hoping that i could uh leave flex alone in 2023 um you know obviously so i i talked about him <clears throat> last year when griselda was uh getting a lot of uh hate and a lot of like these guys are irrelevant whoop -de whoop and flex was a part of that dog pile and so i covered it and sort of uh provided my own opinion on you know uh, what I think of Griselda and why I feel like they are very much needed in the zeitgeist of uh, current New York music. And then I saw he did the freestyle with Conway and I was like, you know what? Maybe he's making progress. You feel me? Maybe he is, you know, willing to uh, bring on uh, people. Maybe, uh, maybe he has learned uh, from his mistake in the way that he treats people. I was very excited. Uh, I actually was going to drop a reaction video last week uh, to uh, to the freestyle, but then this happened. Uh, so if you don't know, uh, Flat Six Nine, of course, is a New York artist who um, pretty much sabotaged his own career um, by profiting and profiting off of the gang culture and the gang lifestyle uh and uh, wearing that street aesthetic on his sleeve proceeding to testify against uh his gang affiliates which obviously goes against street code and then proceeds to clown the same street culture that gave him his relevance now, I'm not here to tell you whether or not snitching is wrong. I'm not a street nigga, and that's not up to me. And to be honest, I don't really even think that that's the point here. Um, when all this was going on, this was around 2020, and uh, Flex made the decision, I guess, to stop playing 6 9 on his radio. Uh, and that was that. Everything was case closed shut. However, recently, uh, with the whole Riot Cell Rico case going on and Gunna, uh, a very high-profile uh, YSL artist, basically uh, copying a plea, um, he uh, and a lot of people suspecting that uh, this plea came with a statement against the other gang members, he essentially uh, is now in a, is similarly targeted with these snitching accusations, however, not to the same degree. And Flex decides, you know what? Um, because people are not coming at Gunna to the same degree as they came at Six Nine, I'm pretty sure that snitching is, you know, now accepted in the culture. And so, therefore, uh, I'm gonna unban Six Nine from my radio station. So, there's a first point I'm gonna make that's gonna go into a second point. Uh, so when I first saw this. I was pretty disappointed. I was like, dog, you're that like to me that's pathetic. Because it means that your original decision wasn't based off of what you thought was right. It wasn't based off of <clears throat> what you thought uh was good for uh the culture, the uh radio station or anything like that or even just what you believed. It was based off of other people being mad at you. Uh, it was based off of a possible lack of approval. Um, and for someone who's supposed to be a mover of the culture, giving into the internet's approval to that of a degree is kind of pathetic. Um, and now to go back on that is to me even worse. Uh, I, 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 just don't understand why it's so hard for somebody to have a value and then just stick to their word that that's it that's that's about all that's expected of, of anybody and i think what's so strange to me is that he had an easy out he could have said maybe my mind is changed on snitching he had an easy out, but he explicitly said that the reason why he's unbanning 6 9 from his radio station is because other people seem okay with it. As long as other people, you know, uh, are, are cool with it, I'll, I'll, I'll let it happen again. And 
for some, to, to me, when you are not able to keep your word, when you are not able to stick to your values, uh, and, and when you don't make decisions uh, for what you feel is just and right, that's pathetic to me. It's a flat statement. The second thing I got to thinking about more and more was this gives us a really good peek into a lot of flex of decision making right into the process in which he um chooses certain things chooses what he's going to play chooses what he just decides to promote for a long time uh, i believe that flex had this reputation of a uh steady and important piece of the culture uh that would uh push and support new york music in its best form or in its most mainstream form, but still uh, support quality New York music and uh, create a buzz around certain artists uh, that he that are either quality or maybe deserve more shine, um, as well as running a, a radio station where you can hear uh, some of the biggest and best New York songs. Uh, and but when you look at this decision it makes it clear that, again, he's not making decisions for himself. The decisions he makes to support certain music aren't based off of what he actually believes is good, what he even believes is profitable, but what other people want him to do. And while you may be saying, okay, well, everybody does that. He's just a shill like the rest of them. Cool, but in my opinion, you cannot tout yourself as uh, a leading voice uh, in any kind of scene or community when that leading voice can be twisted and bent. Uh, I also think that it is a bit alarming, in my opinion, that somebody with so much power uh, is able to crumble to the internet right like the internet right that, that that's basically what what's going on here is that uh you see the reactions of people online and that completely tails tailspins your whole decision making that that's sad and it shows the lack of resolve of a person when they don't really have the ability to think for they don't really have the ability to think and act for themselves uh so overall in my opinion uh what this shows me at least is that uh flex may be a radio host and that's fine uh but in terms of like uh a leading voice or a voice that has any sense of credibility uh, on New York music or New York or music in general. Um, he's just not one of those voices because of his inability to be uh, genuine and uh, consistent with uh, his own thoughts and opinions. With that being said, thank you all for watching the video. Let me know what y'all think of this in the comments below is Ahmed, you know, I'm just, just overblowing it and you know, I, I'm not appreciating celebrity culture in general. Uh, where did I bring up some valid points? Let me know, man. All right. Peace, y'all.